Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at this Tangle Flavo from Mariette Lustenhauer. Oh, this is, oh, this is so neat. You know, I always look for, I don't know, I, I, I nose around, I should say. <laughs> like, all right, what, for what jumps out and says, pick me, pick me. <laughs> and this one, this one did. I was like, you know, and then I started doing it I'm like, well, I don't know. And then as I continued, I'm like, you know, this is really great. Um, it, it kind of exemplifies some of the, it doesn't really doesn't matter type of thing. It does not need to be, I don't know. There's just so many options with this. All right. Starts off. And I think I'm going to go diagonal, I guess, because I haven't done that in a while. I think. All right. So it starts off with this you know, just continuous big S shape curve line and then aura it. And then as I do that, I always think, why is it so much easier to do the first one? <laughs> Cause it is. All right. Then, uh, where, you know, in the, uh, the peaks or the valleys, whichever way you want to think about it, underneath we're gonna do this is kind of like crescent moon but we're not necessarily filling it in you get to decide how you want to decorate it but just a couple c-shaped curve lines like that and we'll get in over here all right then now this is the part that caused me probably the most headache sort of but it's where I went, you know, and then looking at the samples, it really doesn't matter how you do them. And it's such an, it's an interesting shape. It's kind of triangular, but with, with a rounded edge. And here's, so I found it easier. And I actually, actually, as I'm looking at the step out, I think on mine, Oh, no, it just depended. Some of them, they got further apart. Some of them, not. It doesn't matter. All right. So here's how I, and I, it's one of those, almost shut my eyes and just do it. Um, so coming from the center of what we just did, center-ish. All right. And then we're going to come up and over, you know, like that. You could think of it as a C-shaped curve line, maybe pointier. It's up to you. Take a look at the the link in the For More, ins the for more Inspiration link. And you will see. The other thing that I was thinking, it almost looked like, no, no, she, no, these are two separate lines. Never mind. Um, it almost looked like it was like a big, uh, like double C shape curve line or big, big M sort of, but nah, I, I, I'm just looking at it again. I'm like, no, no, no. I see the two distinct, I see a separation there with the, the line. So, you know, however it does, this is where it's just like, just do it and just don't think about it, Heather. <laughs> you know, you can see how that one kind of looks like an M. I want to, I keep trying to get it the way uh, she has it. Cause I like the way that looks and it's just like, ah, oh, you know, it's like, I know it doesn't matter. However, you know what though? Let's see if I was to analyze this a little bit better than I have. You know, that's why I'm starting here because it seems like the line comes up higher here and then dips down like that. Again, it just do it however, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> it's all good. All right. And, and what I love about this is that it doesn't matter. We, you know, a lot of times we get hung up on, oh, let me do it exactly like, let me take some measurements here. Let me get out the protractor and the whatever, and let me see how I can make this perfect. No, the, embrace the Zentangle <laughs> and just do how your hand ends up doing it and then find a way, you know, then decorate it and have fun. Now, there are a couple ways to decorate this. Oh, you know, I'm going to do the one that's more dramatic. I think, well, you know, let me do the top first. Maybe I do the bottom different. I don't know. I kind of like doing it all one. You, again, take a look at the For More Inspiration link and you can have fun. 
All right. So I'm just going to continue up here with the C-shaped curve lines, kind of auraing, you know, a similar um, curve, if you will. And on this side, and we'll do that on on all of them. I am very tempted to do the other side. I'll think about it. All right. Well, that way we can do one side one way and the other side the other way. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I have a better idea. Yeah, yeah. So it'll make sense because I'm like, no, that's it's not going to make any sense to anyone. I do, wait, if I do this here, I could do that one. Okay, and I could do it the other way. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I got that figured out. All right, so I'm going to do the curves over here. Because sometimes it's, it is fun. I mean, you could alternate it. I just want to alternate it so it makes sense in my mind. So I will like it. Da, da, da. Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So this, we can, and, I, and, and you know, you can do whatever you want. And I, why don't I turn this around like another 10 times? It's like our cats used to do, you know. And I know dogs do it too. They go around in a circle a hundred times until they get just, you know, wound up, you know, like wound up tight enough. So that way they are in that nice little ball when they go to sleep. Um, I just apparently just do the circling around. Now I'm going to fill in. So I feel, I decided to fill in this. You, you don't have to, you could, you know, fill in whatever you want, of course. And I'm going to do like stripes. So skipping every other one, but putting that shine in. And if you've not played with the shine, this is one way to do it. <laughs> this is one way to do it so you don't forget. Um, I'll do that in the middle where I want the shine and then just fill in. Because too often I set out to do it and then I've just gone right over the center. And you know, you get carried away. You get into the moment. And something, I mean, you could leave that a little bit wider. And, um, you know, that way, because you can always make it a little bit smaller. And this is just one way to save you from, uh, well, it's not to save you from using the gel pen. Because um, you could put the gel, you know, if you use want to use a white uh, gel pen over it, then it's nice and it doesn't have to compete with the uh, the black ink. Or whatever ink you're using. And it's just nice. And then if you if you don't have a white, you know, gel pen, then it still produces that effect of having a shine in there. Well, and I should say, it's not, well, let me tell you, let me think. Well, try, you know, if you're using like a toned paper, it still kind of creates a shine. It's just not as, um, it's just different when, if it's on a toned paper. You see me doing that. I'm trying. I'm trying to. <laughs> do what I said I, I don't want to do, which is accidentally go over that spot. And what's nice about, <coughs> excuse me, creating these stripes. Is it, it, it an, adds nice contrast to whatever you're doing. It actually makes me think of a, of a bee. Oh, that's funny. Uh, okay. Um, oh, and you know what? This one, let's do this one opposite just because we can. Oh, and I'll put the shine right in the middle. This will be like a sampler. <laughs> oh, here's some ideas. And it's, again, just nice because, you you know, you decorate it however you want. And maybe you have a different idea. You know, maybe you want to put uh, orbs in or um, some zigzags or, you know, or, or um, you know, dividing it up like this and putting stripes in that way. It's, you know. That is the fun of Zentangle. We create our own coloring book. And 
And then we get all of the benefits <laughs> of the, you know, the adult color, you know, coloring book uh, phenomenon stuff. Okay, let's see. This one would, oh, no, wait. No. Okay, now, <clears throat> here's an alternate way to do this. At least, um, and, and I'm just going with the neat ideas that Mariette has shared. Okay, coming from this uh, the center, and we're going to essentially aura this, but only uh, up to there. And so just ending on that line. So we're not, you know, because you, well, heck, you could do that where you aura the whole thing. Again, up to you. Like that. And I'm going to do the other side. Oh, just thinking you could do that. You could add, um, I'm not going to do it now, but you could add some, you could thicken the ends if you wanted to. That could be kind of neat. And let's do it on this side. All right, and then that's going to be easy right off the page and let's see over here this one let's see because i would have that that if i'm alternating them as i said <laughs> then let's see i would have this one filled in and only because i have to do these because otherwise I would not sleep tonight. <laughs> it's like hearing a great piece of music and, and, and they, they, well, it, regardless of what kind of music you like, and he was like the, the, you know, the fade out. So you're listening to something on the radio and it's like, Oh, could you let the song finish please before, uh, before you start talking or before you, you know, they shift it into something else. It's just, you know, you got to get that final chord in there. All right, this one, let's see, a couple ways we could do this as well. This one way, let's do this, we'll just put some orbs in here. Like that, and of course, fill in the sides. Um, this one, you could... You know, similar to this, you could just put nice curve lines in there and then fill them in. And again, this is just to give you some ideas. Oh, let's see, I filled that. Let's do, let's fill in. Yeah, the orid section on this one. Yeah, we'll do the whole thing. And then this one we'll do just the beginning. And <clears throat> leave that one, and then we'll I'll just. I, sometimes I like to. Okay, we'll just skip as we go up. That's that's my way of deciding. <laughs> All right. That's sloppy. There we go. There we go. You know, and that's kind of cool. Oh, and, and then, but wait, there's more. There is, an, a, there is an additional step that I've just skipped over because I was so excited about decorating. And nicely, it doesn't matter at what point you do this. Um, although, if you're, if you're going to do something in the middle here like that, th it would be good to wait to the end. And that is to aura the entire thing. There we go. It's just, it's just so neat. All right. So here's some shading thoughts starting where we started. I'm just going to put some graphite on either side. Of 
that. Ooh, I'll wait for that. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm just doing, you know, where it's divided. Look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I get so excited. It's just so neat, the shading. It's so magical. Oh, it makes such a difference. And if you were to go, you know, darker right on the edge, that just makes it, you know, even more bendy. Makes that curve more prominent. You know, you can do that. Oh, yeah, I need that. And just with a back and forth motion, just to get rid of the the, pen, the obvious pencil line and create that gradient, you know, just to blend it in with what's already there. Oh, look at how neat that is. Okay, and then on these, the way I did it, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to put some on this edge first. That one I don't. I might put it at the base too. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> it's creeping up there. I don't know. I think I might, oh, I'll see. I might leave that just that way. I don't know. Cause it, well, no, cause I mean, cause it kind of, it grows out of there and I guess it just depends on what your, what your vision is for your work. You know what? Let's do this though. Cause I don't know if I want it to be, you know, bendy in there. It's, it's not necessarily tucking in, in my mind, it's, um, it's growing out of. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But then adding some graphite here to the se these center bits. <laughs> Besides, you know, making them, oh, I like that. When they keep making them more rounded, it kind of pushes them, you know, into the background a little bit. Oh, neat. And then, of course, we could do this and put some graphite around the outside. You could aura more than once on the outside. Of course, it's, you know, completely up to you. But I just, I like this, like I said, for oh, <laughs> a number of reasons, mostly because it's kind of whimsical and it doesn't matter how you do this part, it's going to turn out neat. And that's what it's all about. Okay. Look at how that makes that just pop right off the page. Oh, just so much fun. So much fun. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this, uh, we'd love it if you click on the like button. And if you like it enough to see more, click on the subscribe button while you're at it. Um, I mentioned the description section. So there you will find links to the step outs. I always do my own version. And then link to the creator of the Tangle. This time I'll probably put two in because I did find this on Tangle Patterns. And I like to link uh, to uh, to Tangle Patterns to Linda's site uh, just because, I mean, she, she puts in a lot of work. And by the way, I want to give her an extra plug. Uh, if you use that resource, think about, um, she puts out a guide every year that has, the guide has the little thumbnails, you know, the one little picture uh, in the booklet in alphabetical, numerical alphabetical order. Um, and she has a lot of other information in there too. Uh, what's neat is when you purchase it, and I think it's like $21 or something like that. Um, and it's just nice to support her if you, you know, if you have the means and want, I, and to want to support her extra. I, I try to do that. Um, and because uh, I do use her resource a lot. Um, what's neat about the PDF that you receive is that you can click on, look at me clicking. <laughs> you, can, you can 
click on on the thumb on the little picture and it'll take you right to the tangle on her site so that that i know t that takes a lot of work so um all of all of everything that she does takes a lot of work and so i appreciate that resource but i want to let you know that that is available uh and like i said she puts one out you know a new one every year and, and it's explained on her site so so check that out but I'll, I'll put a link to there and then also a link directly to um uh mariette's uh website so that way you know if, if you just want to go there you know quick and easy um then you have it and then sometimes you know i think you have to kind of search a bit on on tangle patterns if the um, if the pattern isn't right there on the page, if she has a link, then you have to find where, you know, it says here. And, um, you know, so I just, just for ease, but I want you to have both links. Um, below that in the description section, ways to connect with me if you wish so that my link tree is there. Uh, that has links to, uh, to everything that I could think of when I was setting it up. Uh, so you'll find my uh, link to my website where you can follow my blog and see uh, classes that I do. Uh, I do teach twice weekly, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, and I do two sessions on each of those days. It's the same content, just uh, different people. Sometimes some of the same, some that, you know, because their time zone or whatever, their schedule it just works better and they can only do one, you know, but some true addicts, <laughs> oh, you got to get, you know, two times the fix in the day. It's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. And then, you know, we just try different things and experiment and play with, uh, you know, whatever tangle that I pick, like I could pick something like this. I was debating on waiting to do this one, frankly, cause I'm like, Ooh, be interesting to see what we might do with that, but I wanted to do it today. So, uh, but that's the type of thing that we would do. And it, it's just, you know, you play with it however you want. And then, then the great reveal at the end is amazing always. Um, so, uh, also there's links to my Facebook page and our Tangle Addicts, um, uh, community group. So if you, if you want to hang out with, uh, other Tanglers, we'd love to have you. There are four questions you have to answer in order to gain entry, just to let you know. And, um, so there's those two things. And, and, uh, if nothing else, if you just you follow my page, then, um, when I post classes, you should see them there. Um, and then there's a couple other places. Um, but anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, that link tree and just, you know, have fun. And with that, thank you so much again for watching and I wish you happy tangling.